Hello everyone. I purchased three different electronic water quality meters online from China. This video will focus more on the last purchase, a 6-in-1 monitor that includes Wi-Fi and remote monitoring capabilities. First, full disclosure. I've had a few problems with online purchases lately from China. The first was a temperature slash humidity monitor with remote sensor. When I opened the box, I found it to be extremely small with a small display and the remote sensor was Bluetooth. If you're close enough for Bluetooth, which is about 15 feet, you might as well just look at it rather than getting out your phone. The second purchase was even a bigger waste of money. It was advertised as a humidity slash temperature monitor with Wi-Fi remote connectivity. I expected it to be good because it was a name brand and I paid 1500 pesos. It turned out to be a knockoff with no Wi-Fi. However, around the same time, I also purchased a Yiryi water quality monitor from China. Yiryi, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. This turned out to be really nice and I'm using it in tank one of my hydroponic system. The display is good enough to be seen from a short distance and it seems pretty accurate and consistent. I've been using this in our IBC Tank 1 in Greenhouse 1. Tank 1 supplies nutrient solution to the NFT systems on the left and the middle of Greenhouse 1. This is a 6-in-1 water quality monitor. It measures pH, temperature, EC, which is electrical conductivity, CF, which is conductivity factor, RH, which is relative humidity, and TDS, total dissolved solids. It's measured in ppm, which is parts per million. It has three displays that can be switched between measurements, but for hydroponics, we just use pH, temperature, and parts per million or for total dissolved solids. pH tells us when we need to adjust our acidity level. Uh, we try to keep it between 5.5 and 6.5 for lettuce. Uh, PPM tells us when we need to adjust the nutrient level. Our range is 550 to 950. And if the temperature becomes extreme, we need to add airflow and sometimes shading. This meter has been in place for a little over a month and I'm extremely happy with it. These type of monitors also have applications for fish tanks. Next I purchased a handheld unit from online made by Yergi. I've not been happy with the standard 500 peso handhelds that measure pH or TDS. I seem to have the pH unit when I need the TDS unit and vice versa. Also they seem to stop working after about six months but that's probably due to us dropping them in the tank. The handheld Yuri is nice. It measures temperature, pH, EC, and TDS, and has a nice bright display. It also has a gasket which at least makes it semi-waterproof. I paid only a little more for this unit compared to the others, about 700 pesos versus 500 for the pair of inexpensive meters. Okay, now to the newest edition. It's another Yuri meter that arrived last week. It's also a 6-in-1 meter like the black unit, but instead of humidity, it measures salinity. The cost is the same. Both are just under 3,000 pesos or about $75 US. The big deal for me with this unit is that it connects via Wi-Fi and has remote monitoring capabilities. However, considering my experience, I was a little skeptical until it arrived. Connecting to Wi-Fi via an app called Tuya, T-U-Y-A, was easy. I just followed the directions. However, it took me a few days of playing around to get the alarm set. I'll go over this uh, a little later in the video. It actually sends us a message now when, uh, when the tank wanders out of any of the parameters we set. For me, it's exactly what I needed to remotely manage our systems. Okay, Yuri's not a sponsor and it's only been up and running less than a week. But yesterday I purchased a duplicate monitor for our third and final IBC tank. So yes, I'm pretty happy with this unit. So here's a copy of the entry screen in the Tuya app, and you can see I've renamed my Yuri device Tank 2, which uh, my tanks are numbered in our system, Tank 1, Tank 2, and Tank 3. If I touch Tank 2, I go into the main monitoring screen, and you can see the temperature, uh, real-time pH, uh, and then also total dissolved solids for my tank, and that's Tank 2. Now, you would think that uh, if, if you touch the bottom of any of these measurements you'll get uh, a screen that tells you the alarm settings 
this is not where you set the alarm. <laughs> However, you can scroll down and you'll see the history of uh, how you've been doing for the last day, the last week, or the last month, and that can be useful. To set the alarm so you get a warning message in your phone, go back to the screen in the Tuya app that shows the Yiri icon. I call mine Tank 2. At the bottom of the screen, there is Home, Scene, Smart, and Me. Next, touch the Scene button at the bottom and then tap the plus sign to create a scene. Touch the light bulb at the bottom labeled when a device status changes. Next, touch the device, in our case, Tank 2. Touch TDS value for a TDS alarm message. For us, I select the less than button, type in 600 ppm, then the next button. At this screen, first I tell it when I want to receive the alarm. Touch the three dots. I want to set the alarm so it will only send me notifications between 9 and 10 a.m. every day. I set the time in custom and the repeat as every day. Then next and OK to get me back to the screen where I tell Tuya what to do if my tank goes lower than 600 ppm. Touch then, send notification, and the message center next and then save this seems complicated but actually now it's pretty easy after I got the hang of it if you want to set a range then you'll need to create two scenes one for the upper and one for the lower limit this has been working great as I said before both the pH and the TDS alarms have sent multiple messages over the last week this is a time saver for us and worth the money Thank you for listening. If you buy one of these meters, let me know in the comment section how it works out. Take care and God bless.